The long weekend rolls along as we have arrived in Langley, British Columbia, just outside beautiful downtown Vancouver, where the Eagles and the Hammers will meet for the fourth and final time this season with the season series up for grabs. Vancouver Football Club, they make one change to their starting 11 back in their 4-3-3, and that is the insertion of Caden Chung in place of Min Jae Kwok. Not only was it a nil-nil draw last week for Bobby Smyrniotis and company, it was their third draw in a row. They'll be looking to change that today. Also making one change to their shape. That is Ruben Spasius being added up top. Dom Samuel drops to the bench. And with the very vertical Kwesi Poku at left back, these moments will develop for Vancouver. It's a second as it's lifted up to the tower. I think that might have caught Rama. Should be a corner kick coming up for Vancouver. Adibang is going to get another opportunity. Looks decent. Now deep enough towards Campbell. Crawford buys a bit of territory. Vancouver gets their line organized. Now Pasias completely fools Callum Irving. And Wubens Pasias has opened the scoring in the 19th minute of the match. He is still one of Forge's best players, but he's the type that can grab this team by the scruff of the neck when they need a wake-up call. Poku, Campbell heads it over. Now it's Pasias who pokes it through. What? A first half brace from Woobs in goals just nine minutes apart. And it is a long way back for Vancouver now. Campbell's going to get his first assist of the season. On a great team goal, Kwesi Poku, simple enough to start it off. Fudge will happily let them keep passing backwards. They will happily let them do this. Batar, nice ball. Oh! Carson Diaz oh! drills it first time, but drills it into the side netting. Better from Vancouver at last. With a big deficit to overcome. And cooler heads have prevailed, though we will certainly be keeping a close eye on Vasco Fry and Rezar Rama from their heated exchange on the way back to the changing rooms. And Forge starting front-footed. Poku immediately into the box, and that could be a penalty. That is a penalty. Rocco Romeo gets it all wrong and takes Taron Campbell down. Otherwise, we would have had the fastest goal to start a half in CPL history. Well, Ollie, I'm going to call this disaster. Well, Vancouver has been pretty much a disaster and crosses all games, to be honest with you. This is probably a little pre rehearsed routine for, from Forge from the start of the half. Opens Pasias for a hat trick. Early in the second half, he beats Callum Irving. Well, you couldn't have done it any better if you're Bobby Smyrniotis. And Wubens Macias ties Alejandro Diaz for the most hat tricks in Canadian Premier League history. Vasco Fry has some good delivery. That wasn't his best thing, but it still almost worked out. Redirection from Hernan Garcia. Nice reaction on the line and offside. We'll bring this play to a halt. Fry was in a great battle with Badibanga. Good positioning to keep the speedy winger off the ball. This won't help. Badibanga needs to keep himself on side. Campbell slips the ball his way. Badibanga, just saved by Irvin. Nice control from Alejandro Diaz. Options left and right. It's Tahid. TJ Tahi thought about the shot. Back to Diaz. Alejandro Diaz can't find frame. <laughs> it makes absolutely no sense. And run the gauntlet away from home in the playoffs. Oh, look at that. It's in from Quisi Boku. Campbell had a golden opportunity. That was one of the best moments from Poku in the game and caught everybody by surprise. We'll see still 24 minutes to go. Batty Bunga in the sand the hole. That was league history. Just couldn't keep his body over the ball. 
and tweaks the hamstring as well. <laughs> I don't need to rush back, but it shows you the type of professional that he is that it was important to him to come back and help build this team from year one. Borges for Kadeem Kane. Kadeem Kane off the post. What a hit that was from the young man. That was released with so much velocity. Heck of a strike. So do you stick with Jonsson in that role? Do you push him into the defense to get a jab before in the team? How do you take this guy out of the team right now? Unbelievable solo effort. Now Jonsson, Poku on the rebounds, and the one mistake of his game. You'll, you'll forget about that one, he was offside. Hundal, Diaz, Fry, and now a wide open Minjay Kwok. Kwok, better ball, what a stop, Henry first time, and Diaz had a glorious opportunity on the rebound. Could not keep the ball low. Poku's <laughs> gonna get some trouble for that. Will it be straight red? Yes, it will. Tracy Poku studs up and Alain Rouge decides that's violent conduct. Well, that's how you're going to take Crazy Poku out of the team. I want to get a look at the replay. Matusala sends it away. Loose ball collected by Fry. Clever and near the hand of Garvin Miche Matusala. Penalty not given. Full time instead. Bobby Smirniotis and Forge win the season series in convincing fashion.